Hi, it's Phil, and we're going to be looking today at adding one piece of audio. They give me all the uh, uh, easy jobs here, you see. <laughs> so here we go. Um, with adding one piece of audio, dead simple, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our media finder, which is this box here. This says media finder on it. And we're going to go to the little plus button to the top left hand corner. There it is. If you hover over it, it will tell you what it is. I'm going to click. And when I get my media editor uh, box open, I need to go and find the one piece of audio I want to add. So I'm going to stay in my top left hand corner. I'm going to go to my folder. And I know on my desktop here, and I've put some things in my import folder. So double click. And then I'm going to go to a folder or a file rather within the folder called news bulletin. I'm going to double click on that. And as if by magic, there is my news bulletin sat in front of me. Of course, at the minute, I don't have a UID or a carton before it. So um, in this system, of course, in our system, you can either use letters or numbers or a combo of both. I'm going to just call this news. One. Uh, I can actually do some editing here as well. So if I want to chop off this little bit that obviously has nothing, I can just drag that point in, that trim point a little bit like that. And you've probably seen here the extra point. Uh, that's the marker at the end of the file that tells the next file to play. Um, it's a little bit tight, so I'm going to grab it and I'm going to drag it back a little bit to there. Title, let's call it News Bull et in. <laughs> I spelled that right. Yes, I have. Um, okay. Um, I'm not going to give it an artist detail because I don't have to. I will give it a type, though I have to do that. So I'm going to click here. And uh, my type is going to be news. Hit OK. And then you'll notice that to the top right hand corner, I have a flashing little disk. In the old days of computers, we had to save everything on floppy disks. This is what this icon means here. We're going to save that file. Now, if I type news in here, at the bottom of my screen, I will see, now see that I've got a news bulletin, which is the new one that I've just imported. And that is how you do a single file.